Welcome to Knowledge Domain 8, Lesson 6, Animals of the Tropical Rainforest Habitat. As we get started, let's review what is a habitat. Remember, all animals need food, water, and shelter for their habitat to be a place where they can survive, just like you need food, water, and shelter to survive, so do animals. Here are the words we need to listen for in our story. The first word you're going to hear in your story is canopy. A canopy is the top layer of the forest formed by the branches and leaves at the tops of the trees. An example of this is the canopy of the forest shades the plants and animals below. A colony or colonies is groups of the same kind of animals or plants living and growing together. The word humid, boys and girls, means having wetness in the air. An example, the air is often sticky and humid on a hot summer day. The word stalk, you're going to hear that in our story. It means to follow in a slow, quiet way in order to hunt and catch. A jaguar's features make it easy to stalk prey. Take a look at our picture of the map. What do you see? Remember that big red line that goes across the middle of our globe? That's called the equator. The land and the water near the equator stay very warm year around. The next read aloud we're going to hear today is about a different kind of forest, not a deciduous temperate forest, but a rainforest, a tropical rainforest. Rattenboro is going to visit a place called the Amazon Rainforest, and it is located on the continent of South America. South America is in the location that is in yellow on your map. Do you see the purple arrow pointing to it? The Amazon Rainforest covers more than 1.4 billion acres in the following countries, Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Bolivia, and even others. It is such a large area. Today, we're going to listen carefully to learn about one example of a tropical forest, the Amazon rainforest. Let's get ready to go. Hello there. Rattenboro reporting from a fascinating habitat, a habitat that has the greatest variety of plants and animals of any habitat on earth. Welcome to the tropical rainforest. Tropical places are warm and wet. A rainforest is a thick forest of plants that stay green year round. So a tropical rainforest is warm, wet, thick forest of plants that stay green year round. There are tropical rainforests in many places around the world close to the equator, but the one we are visiting is called the Amazon rainforest. It is in South America and it is the largest tropical rainforest on earth. The Amazon rainforest is so dense or thick that a rat like me could easily get lost. The plants in the tropical rainforest are thick because there are so many growing closely together. It's hot and very humid here. The temperature is always very warm and it rains heavily all year long. Because of the warm temperature and the rain, the air feels wet or humid. My fur is feeling very wet and sticky already. It's a good thing I brought my umbrella. There are between 80 and 240 inches of rainfall here every year. Did you know where we are in Erie, Pennsylvania, it only rains about 44 inches a year? The rainforest gets twice as much rain. 
Wherever you are, I wonder how much rain you get. That makes this one of the wettest places you can find on land. Temperate deciduous forests, which you learned about the last time, have broad leaf trees that lose all their leaves in the fall. The Amazon rainforest also has broad leaf trees, but the main difference is that most of the trees here stay green all year long. The evergreen trees in this tropical rainforest replace their leaves gradually throughout the year as the leaves age and fall so that the trees always look green and never have bare branches like the trees in the temperate deciduous forests. Because the climate here is the same all year round, plants do not need to slow down for cold winter weather and the animals that live here always have a good supply of food all year too. Take a look around. The trees in the rainforest are so tall that they grow as tall as a 13 story building. And some grow much taller than that. I'm standing in a tree right now. And as you can see, the trees grow so thickly and so close together here that from above, you can only see a canopy of thick green leaves. You can't see the forest floor. Because the sun's light can't get through this canopy of leaves, everything under them is really dark. I've brought a flashlight to help me see down there. The plants in the Amazon rainforest have adapted to this climate in many ways. Because it's so dark in the rainforest underneath the canopy, most plants have large leaves so they can catch as much light as possible. Many of the plants have waxy leaves with ends that are tapered or they get smaller near the ends, to help the water drip off of them, like the water running off my umbrella. Many types of vines grow in the rainforest. Vines are climbing plants that grow on trees or wind themselves around tree trunks. Many animals use the vines growing among the trees almost like sidewalks and ladders to cross from one tree to another. The rainforest floor is a very shady place which means it is a good habitat for mosses and fungi that don't need much sunlight. If you can believe it, there are even some plants that don't need any light to grow. They grow on the forest floor and get their energy from the rotting leaves instead of sunlight. I'm way up in a particular type of tree found in the Amazon rainforest called a kapok tree so high that you won't be able to see me. The kapok tree is one of the tallest trees around. The kapok has a very long trunk and its branches and leaves form a canopy over the plants and animals below, making it a good shelter for animals like birds, snakes, and monkeys. There are also many different kinds of animals that call the Amazon rainforest home. Many types of interesting and colorful birds, frogs, Insects, reptiles, and other animals live in the trees and other plants of the tropical rainforest. These huge toucans use their large beaks to cut fruit from branches and to eat lizards, as well as other birds. Macaws, which are a kind of parrot, travel in groups and use their hooked beaks to break into hard nuts and fruits and you don't want to get too close to the poison arrow frog, which has poisonous skin to protect it from predators. I'm back in the kapok tree, one of the very tallest trees in the forest, to see what kinds of animals call this habitat home. Over there, I can see a squirrel monkey. The squirrel monkey is a very friendly little animal, and it shares a lot of things in common with the squirrels that live in the temperate deciduous forest. The squirrel monkey is very small and has a very long, thin tail that it uses to help balance. It has strong legs that it uses to jump and run, and claws that help it to climb up and down trees and vines. In fact, the squirrel monkeys are so good at traveling by leaping and running along branches that they hardly ever touch the forest floor. The squirrel monkey is an omnivore. 
Remember, an omnivore is an animal that eats both plants and animals. It eats insects, fruits, and flowers, and spends most of its time during the day moving around the forest to find food. The squirrel monkey has excellent eyesight, which it's useful for finding small insects, fruit, and berries growing among the green leaves of the tropical rainforest trees. Squirrel monkeys live in large groups, making it harder for their predators, eagles and snakes, to get them. Now this monkey is acting a little strange, and experience has told me that this kind of behavior usually means there's trouble on the way. <gasps> oh, look who's coming, some kind of snake. Snakes also tend to eat rats, so I'm going to climb a bit higher and take a look from a distance. Wow, look at the size of this snake. It's a boa constrictor, one of many kinds of snakes that live in the Amazon rainforest. It's a pretty big snake. This one is about 13 feet long. Boas can have slightly different coloring and patterns on their skin, but they are well camouflaged in the trees, plants, and vines of the forest. This boa constrictor, like all snakes, is a carnivore. It eats other animals, such as bats, which are its favorite food, rodents, yep, that includes rats, lizards, birds, and even small squirrel monkeys. The boa constrictor is mostly nocturnal, so it comes out to hunt when it's getting dark, like now. Snakes can eat animals that are much bigger than they are. This boa's jaws open very, very wide so that when it finds an animal to eat, even animals such as birds and squirrel monkeys, it will be able to swallow it whole. The boa constrictor is not the only carnivore in the rainforest. In fact, it will have to watch out that it doesn't become dinner for a hungry jaguar like this one. Jaguars look a lot like leopards. They have tan fur with dark spots, but they are bigger than leopards, with shorter tails and legs, and bigger heads and paws. This jaguar is about seven feet long and probably weighs around 200 pounds. Jaguars are very well adapted to living in the rainforest. They have very sensitive hearing and an excellent sense of smell. A jaguar can see very well during the day and at night. All these things make it easier for it to find, stalk, and catch its prey. Remember, stalk means to follow in a slow and quiet way in order to hunt and catch. I can barely hear the jaguar moving through the forest. That's because its paws are covered with very thick fur with pads on the bottom. Because they can travel so quietly, jaguars don't have to run far to catch their prey. So instead of having long legs for running, they have short, strong legs that are good for pouncing on other animals from the ground, from the trees, or in the water. A jaguar spends most of the day resting and goes out to hunt at night. It's also very good at climbing trees, which means I should get out of here before it's able to sniff me out. I've moved to the forest floor near the bottom of the kapok tree because there's one last very interesting animal I want to show you. We'd better hurry. It's getting dark and I may have to use my flashlight to show you. These are leaf cutter ants. These ants burrow underground and make nests in groups called colonies. Different ants in the colony have different responsibilities. There are worker ants, soldier ants, and their queen. The worker ants are traveling to the kapok tree nearby where they will use their sharp jaws to bite off pieces of the leaves to bring back to the nest. Did you know that ants can carry up to 10 times their body weight? That's pretty amazing, isn't it? The soldier ants are there to protect the worker ants on their way to and from the nest. 
These ants spend most of their lives working for food. Nature is amazing, isn't it? Well, it really is quite dark now, and my fur has been sticking to me since we got here. So I think it's time to leave the hot and humid Amazon rainforest. We've learned a lot about this exotic habitat, its climate, and the plants and animals that have their homes here. Now, for somewhere really different. Thank you for listening. You did a great job. Tomorrow, we're going to get to learn about animals that live in fresh water. Have a wonderful day.